Hey guys, now I'm going to get back here for another video, guys. Let me open up some packs. We're talking about some Madden 23 because we do have information based on the Madden cover mechanics and people have played the beta. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What's my thoughts? What's my initial thoughts? Is my initial ideas as we get a million dollar pack right here? Am I excited about Madden 23? Well, first off, I will say I've not played the beta. Uh, but I will say that based on who has played the beta, I do trust their thoughts and opinions. And I'm going to start off right away by saying the rumor or the thing being said is this is the best Madden in the last five years. And that's a really full statement to make. In, the, in all honesty, it's a really open statement to make because Madden has been absolutely trash the last five years. So when you say something like, oh, it's the best Madden in the last five years, it's not really much it has to live up to to be the best Madden in the last five years. It could absolutely be dog water and it would still be the best Madden in the last five years, right? Um, but I will say, I do believe EA Sports at this point, with everything that has gone on, with them completely ignoring us, with them completely not caring what we think and how we feel, Finally, it seems like EA Sports is singing, hey, listen, we have to at least do something right with this Madden. And that seems to be somewhat what we are seeing. Now, obviously, we have seen the mechanics. We talked about the mechanics. We talked about what they've updated. And we broke it down in the video, right? The whole entire field sense stuff. How much different is that going to be in Madden next year? Based on what I've heard from the people who play the beta, everyone is saying that the defensive backs, the wide receivers, they run better routes, they cover better, they're a lot smarter, and the AI is a lot smarter. Now, of course, that does change when you are getting into, you know, like different blitzes people can run, different A gap, B gap blitzes. Once you start throwing that perspective into it, sometimes things like, you know, the defense backs, wide receivers, they get nerfed, obviously, through patches. But glitches in the game also ruins a lot of that kind of stuff. But I will say it's going to be interesting to see how EA does handle things. Because based on what I have, uh, what I understand is that this year's game is kind of more realistic. But it's a sandbox at this point. It's Pandora's box. Right, because EA knows they have to fix gameplay. EA's not stupid. They know they have to fix gameplay because they've been lacking on it for the last couple of years. They've been trying to just force feed Ultimate Team and be like, you know, what? we're just gonna ignore the gameplay things. And if we make Ultimate Team good enough, people won't care about the gameplay. Well, people still get, care about the gameplay. People are leaving Madden because of it. So now EA Sports knows, okay, they have to care about the gameplay. I, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel because I've seen so many times, so many gimmicks added to Madden, so many bull craps added to Madden where they say, oh, look at this new feature. Look at that new feature. And it ends up becoming nothing. With that being said, I have to go off what people have said. And it seems like it's going to be a really good game for gameplay, which is absolutely a W. If, they, if this game is actually amazing for gameplay, that will change the ball game completely. It would make this game actually worth a lot uh, because gameplay has not been the focal point in any way or even good in any way over the last couple of years. Now, it's this game is still going to be a copy and paste of every year when it comes to promos. It's going to be a copy and paste of, you know, the loading screens, the menu screens. I know I think we got one leak of a menu screen. It's still going to look very similar to every other Madden. And to be honest, how I look at it is like this, right? Because obviously, yes, every Madden is the same concept where it's just going to be a micro transaction fest and we're just going to see the same, oh, you know, buy this bundle and you get this. And we're never going to see EA Sports give us the ability to most likely give us the ability to buy coins. They're never going to give us the ability to have better bundles or have happy hour or have this, that, and third because they know that they don't have to because people aren't going to leave. Enough people won't leave for them to have to go ahead and make changes. But that's what I'm interested to see is if we know that's the case and then obviously gameplay being better, this could be a really good Madden. This really, really could be. 
because I will say, I don't think Ultimate Team as a whole, other than obviously, you know, like I just mentioned, Ultimate Team as a whole isn't really bad. It just comes down to the fact of if you want to play Ultimate Team and you want to spend money, you want to get these OP players, these crazy players, it gets to a point where it's like, is it even worth having all these players if you're just going to have to deal with bullcrap in game? You have to deal with the gameplay being crap, right? And if, if you don't have to deal with the gameplay, uh, gameplay being crap, it makes the idea of the microtransactions not being so bad. It makes the idea of spending money in this game and getting these players not so bad because like, okay, well, at least I get to have fun and play with these guys. So EA is going to have to really... I'm going to see how EA does go ahead and work this out because... <laughs> EA track record is like Microsoft's track record of doing cell phones. It's not good. It's really ugly. So if they can figure out a way to use their multi-billion dollar company in a correct way to help out the Madden community, it'd be great. But I'm still going to be optimistic. I know gameplay got better. But again, like I've always said, you know, give people some time to lab different glitches, different blitzes. You know, EA is going to nerf their game. They're going to patch it. This is going to be one of those things where I say we can't really make a judgment. Because the initial judgment is this year's game is going to be awesome. But we can't really make a judgment until probably September, October, after a couple months of the game being out. And then we see, okay, sit back. How broken is it, right? How broken is it? Now, of course, promo-wise, the first couple months of any Madden is amazing. Guys have played any Madden. Every Madden, the first couple of weeks of a couple of months, the promos are absolutely god tier. They're S plus tier the first couple of weeks. And then it slowly starts going downhill. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it just because it's EA Sports. To any other company, I would say, you know what? Maybe they learned from the mistakes. Maybe they gotten better. Maybe, you know, everything will work out and this year's game would be pretty great. But it's kind of hard to say that with EA Sports. But you know what? Maybe this is turning over for a new leaf. Because I did look at those mechanics. I did look at the, you know, field sense. And it's a lot better than I, I would say. Because the last big change we saw, and I say huge change actually, was had to been the whole, you know, different engine for the game. They completely changed the engine for the game. Made a whole entire spiel about that. It didn't change anything. But it absolutely was a huge spiel about that. I'm hoping... Hoping, 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 fingers crossed, this, this ends up not being like that, where it ends up just being a thing that doesn't really do anything. I don't think can. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm optimistic for this game, and my final verdict is I think it's going to be a good game. I think this year will be the year we look at Madden and say, dang, that's what they could have done for the longest time, and then the following six years are going to be absolute god-awful. But... Just in one man's opinion. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.